Is life meaningful or is it meaningless? How do you know? How does anyone know? Today I want to talk about that age-old question about finding meaning in life. And as I talk about this, I, I want to frame this in the context that only you can understand if your life has meaning or not. No one outside of you can determine that. It's really very personal, it's very subjective. It's about how you understand meaning in your life. But today I wanna to talk about four steps to consider as you really look at your life and the meaning you find in your life. And as I do that, of course, I wanna ask you to subscribe to this channel, click the bell so you're notified of future videos, as well as think for a second, is there someone I know who would appreciate this video? If so, why don't you share it with them? So, meaning in life. You know, we have to start with this first step that's a very difficult step. It's something we don't like to talk about. It's something we all would rather avoid. And that's the inevitable. No matter what we do, all of us are going to die. For some people it comes sooner, for some it comes later, but there's no getting out of this life alive. Instead, we will all die. And when we raise this question of our death, then the issues of meaning in life really become more poignant. So that's why this is the first step to consider. And there are two ways of looking at this. You know, we can think about, oh, you know, every day we have our same routines, day in and day out. We, we get up, we go to work, we come home, have dinner, go to sleep, and repeat the next day, and repeat, repeat, repeat. We have a week's vacation, then we repeat, repeat, repeat. And in that context, <clears throat> life can really seem like it's meaningless. In fact, philosophers like Albert Camus and Friedrich Nietzsche said, yes, it's absurd. Life is simply absurd. It's meaningless. It's routine. There's nothing there. In the end, you die. That's it. But Martin Heidegger and others looked at this same reality that we have our routines, but in the end we die, and saw something different. And what they saw was that because we recognize that our time is limited, because we recognize that death will come, then the brilliance of life, the brilliant colors of life can be more easily seen. Heidegger said that it was in the face of the blackness of death, that black shadow of death, that we're able to see the brilliant colors of life. And that's where meaning is to be found. That leads us to the second step. And that has to do with our freedom and choice. Each of us is free to decide, meaningless or full of meaning. It's up to us. No one can make this decision for us. It's really the perspective we choose to have. We can look at the same events in life and decide there's going to be meaning to be found or not so much. When we find life meaningless, then our lives are filled with boredom. That's a good scenario for addictions and other things that try to dull how we experience life. But when we find meaning, we, we live more fully and appreciate things. So it's really our choice. It's really what we bring into the equation. And that's where the third step comes in. It's our choice, but the third step is we're responsible to make it happen. No one can do it for us. We have the responsibility to find that meaning. Now, how we find that meaning, that's up to us. That really is up to us. For many of us, it starts in small ways. It comes from an appreciation of being loved by another person. It may start from the sense of awe we have at sunrise or sunset or the springtime bloom or, or the experience of, of feeling connected in work that we do or in something else we enjoy that sense of awe we have from music or art. Somewhere we experience something that means something to us, that becomes important to us, that we value. And when we become aware of that, 
then we realize that that thing that we find valuable in turn gives our lives value. That thing that we find is to be meaningful becomes the source of meaning for our life. See, it's interactive like that. It, it works in sort of a cycle that when we experience that, that wealth, that goodness, that inspiration, that beauty, that thing that inspires us, it makes our lives more inspiring and beautiful and meaningful. When we begin to recognize that in small ways, we can build on that. It's a process. It doesn't just all happen overnight. It isn't like someone turns on a light and it all happens all at once. Instead, part of our responsibility is to nurture that and to allow it to happen and grow in us. As that happens, that leads us to the fourth step. And that fourth step is really learning to live out of the sense of that meaning and purpose and value in life. If you've watched other videos, you know that I understand that meaning and purpose in life, our ability to find meaning, <clears throat> and to leave, live meaningfully is really the basis of spirituality. That's really where we find that spiritual energy in life, to live a spirited way. And if that's something you're working on, you may want to reach out to me to talk about spiritual direction, and I'm happy to do that. In the meantime, remember these four steps and begin to work through them so that you can increase that sense of meaning in your own life. Thanks for your time. Be sure to subscribe to this channel, like the video, leave me some comments, and know that I appreciate the time you spend on Spirituality Beyond Borders. Have a great day.